Come. Let me pray for you. You know him. You know them. How many of you know them? Yeah, you came with our so that you can pray for them. Oh. Yes. So I'm just choosing you because of God. Eh? Ah. Sometimes I feel lost. Where, where, where are the people? Where are the pastors you brought? They are pastors? Yes. All of them? Yes. There are too many to be pastors. <laughs> Let's call all of them pastors. Those who are pastors. Come, guys. We, you, we, we call them ministers at the church. You call them ministers? Yes, the ministering. Can you explain to me uh, why you call them ministers? Okay, men of God, we've got elders. Uh, we're building the church. Um, I think we're about 100 and 200 and 200 all, all in these number. Are, are ministers. So these are people who are helping us to minister in the church. So we've got elders and uh, we call them, after elders, we've got ministers, and then we've got leaders. Okay. So, elders, yes, elders, and then ministers, ministers and then yes. leaders. So we, we build in the, the organization. So they can't run away, these people, because they've been given position. <laughs> <laughs> these people can't run away, they've been... <laughs> yeah. So you are, you are all ministers. Yes. They help you to minister in the church. Yes, sir. When, when you are where? Uh, well, like I say, we we still building the church. You know, we building the organization. You are so we we giving them um, at, at the moment we giving them a leadership training um, to make sure that they can take responsibility as the church grows because we don't want to have a church that's grown but there's no organization and there's issues. Mm. Yeah, you are doing a very tough job. I'm afraid of it. Uh, so, well, some of them they minister with us when we pray for people. Okay, some, yeah, they, yeah. some they minister with us when we pray for people, or when How they, big is your church? Sir? We are about two hundred and four currently. Uh, and you have these people? Yes, sir. we 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 preparing for for growth. So we don't want growth to fall on us, and then we we don't have leaders. We haven't trained anyone. So the, the idea is to train leaders. So we we have leadership training, leadership trainings where we we teach them. Uh, our, 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 we, we, we teach them where we're going, what and, God uh, is. Listen to this. I don't want to judge you. Uh, I'm sure it's what God told you. Okay. I don't want to judge you, but I will tell you that uh, review this thing. Okay. And then and check how you can do it. All right. In a way of hearing God. Okay. Because if you do this, God won't raise anyone here. If you just bring them, okay. you teach them. Go, go. Already, God does not choose where you choose. Oh. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If you remember Samuel, mm. when you look at Eliab, you say, ah, this is the anointed one. Mm. And God say, hey, the way you see is not the way I see. All right. So for you to hear from God about those who are chosen, mm. please, uh, these people here, they can bring a damage in the body of Christ. Okay. Because if truly they are not called, and already they know things of the people who are called, mm. doing it without anointing, it will bring a great repercussions in their lives. Satan okay. can attack them easily. Okay. And also, Satan also can use them against you. Okay. You understand? Yes, sir. Many of them here, when they reach matured here and feel they know something, they will drag people from the same church to their own position. Oh, shame. So this is a very, uh, I don't know. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. I hear you, sir. Mm. Review this you. thing. People must, I mean, wait for God's time. And God's time will always be the best. Okay. Amen. 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 Uh, Men of God, that is the reason why we came with them that yes. we have not yet appointed them fully or ordained them or dedicated them. So we wanted to come here to hear the mind of God as we know that you are an anointed one of God. So the, that's the, why we came. Go and read Acts 30, verse 1. What 
Holy Spirit say, choose for me. So that we must not choose for ourselves. Mm. If we choose for ourselves, it's going to be very dangerous. And, uh, and even these people will never enjoy ministry. These people. You see, uh, others are innocent here. Mm. I know you love these people. You want them to do God's work. Amen. You understand? It's true. But uh, please review this. Okay. These people, you people, have a spirit of sitting down Amen. and allow him and his wife to teach you Amen. until God mm. show him mm. uh, who he can teach to mm. do what God is saying. Amen. Please, please, let's go Amen. and do that. Let's go and do that. <laughs> if not, if not here, uh, uh, ministry will be a joke. I want to pray with you. Amen. God loves you people here. If you can sit uh, under them and you listen to them, God will lift you. Amen. You understand? Amen. But let's allow God to do it. Okay. You have got to cry this man. His cry, he want to raise people who will do God's work. Mm. Amen. That is his cry. Amen, that is true. You understand? That is true, man of God. So, allow him also. Believe in him. Yes. Understand that some of you, you will feel what I'm saying. Maybe he did wrong. No, it's a cry. He did this because he's crying. Yes. Are you hearing that? It's true. So, can you go beg you people? You understand his cry. You sit down, you listen to him. Go already heard his cry. Yes. You understand? So that people must not be chosen in flesh, but chosen in spirit. Amen. 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 To work. Amen. So don't leave the church when he says sit down. I'm saying it again. Amen. Don't leave the church. Hey, you people. <laughs> 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 eh? Don't leave the church. You say what? Long live. We won't leave. Long live. Long live. We won't leave. You won't live or long live. <laughs> All right. You people support this man and his wife Amen. with the mandate that God gave them. Amen. But listen, if they say no, it's no. Yes is yes. Give them a chance to hear God for yourself. Are you hearing that? That's how you will grow. So, please, I won't pray for you now. I want to pray for them. You people go and choose that road. That way. Go and see them. Choose that road. So that you, you will say, because I'm afraid, my brother, if we don't follow that, uh, very soon the church of 200 people will be no church one day. You can lose this church, but the people you trust. Ask me, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. I've experienced that. I allow people to grow. Mm. They are doing what they are doing now. But now if you take the whole of them like this, another one will do like this, like that, like that, you don't know. It's very dangerous. So go on to use you with your wife. And from today, this man is a man of God and his wife. And uh, you people must listen to them. But, but, please, go and sit down. Go and sit down until God truly, you know, tell them that you are this, you are that. Are you hearing that? So it will happen. Let me lay my hands on you. Bring him to me. God will speak with you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You are blessed.